Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Sean. If you're new here, welcome. I told you guys that I was bringing some new and different content this year, so here we are. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how to use your Cricut machine using the permanent premium vinyl and also the um, strong bond everyday iron on. So, of course, you're going to need your Cricut machine. I'm using the Cricut Explore Air 2. You're also going to need the tools that come with it the scissors the tweezers, the weeder, the spatula, the Cricut scraper, and a Cricut cutting mat. This is the 12 by 12 cutting mat. So for the vinyl portion, of course you're gonna need your permanent premium vinyl in whatever color you choose. I'm just gonna use black. And then you're gonna need some transfer tape and something to transfer your creation onto. So I'm gonna be using this glass right here. And then for the iron-on portion, you're gonna need your strong bond everyday iron-on roll in whatever color you choose. This is the tea party sampler, so it gives me three different colors in one row. And then something to iron your design onto. And then you're gonna need an iron and an ironing board. If you don't have an ironing board, just a surface to iron on. The last thing you're gonna need is whatever device you use to connect to your Cricut. I'll be using the Cricut app from my phone. I know there's other people who use their computers and their laptops. For me, um, it's just easier and more convenient for me to use the app on my phone. So if you have everything that I just went over and you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I once you've opened up the app, you wanna go ahead and tap on new project. From new project, you wanna go down to the bottom and click text. Once you click text, all the fonts will um, pop open that are available to you. Once you've picked your font, go ahead and type in what you want your text to say. So I really wasn't digging this font, so I tapped on edit and the font option popped back up and I just went through all the fonts that I thought I liked and tapped on them to see which one I liked the best. And here you're gonna see me changing the style of my text. And I was kind of liking this font, but the O and shine looked like an A. And I didn't like that. So I went in again, tapped edit, and changed the font again to something that I liked a little better. And so this is the one that I went with. Okay, so now you see me measuring the glass. I am measuring because I want to make sure that the text sits nice on the glass. I don't want it to be too big or too small. I tap that blue icon at the bottom left corner of the text and that unlocked the text. So I was able to use the green icon at the bottom right corner to stretch it out longer and taller. And then you see once it's back locked that you can move it around as one and just make the whole thing bigger or smaller. The thin gray lines on the top and the side of the text are numbered by inches. So that helps me out when I'm measuring and trying to get the perfect fit. So now we're gonna go ahead and open the Cricut and power it on. Next, you wanna grab your Cricut cutting mat and whatever vinyl you chose to use. And you wanna measure out the same measurements that you used as you were forming your text. My measurements were 3.75 and 1.25, but I took it up just a little bit, just in case to four inches and one and a half inches. So next you wanna go ahead and take that clear film off your Cricut cutting board. And yeah, you gotta be careful because this board is super sticky. Like my, I always have a bad habit of laying my arms on it. And so there's like a lot of lint and everything on it. Um, I just figured out a good way to clean the board. But yeah, anyway, um, go ahead and lay your piece of vinyl face up in the top left hand corner. Okay, so I got my Cricut on you guys, but it is not reading as an accessory. So I have to go to settings and go to the Bluetooth. And from the Bluetooth, I have to connect my Cricut. 
and then once it is connected it'll pop up as an accessory so once it has connected another screen is going to pop up and it's just going to make sure that you're using all the right tools and that you have the right accessories loaded all that good stuff you want to make sure that your dial is turned to vinyl after that you can go ahead and load your Cricut mat once you've got your Cricut mat onto your Cricut you want to go ahead and press the load unload button and that button will kind of like suck the mat up into the machine once that is done then you want to go ahead and press the Cricut button and from there it will begin to cut your project out Now once the Cricut has finished cutting, you will get a notification saying that the action has been completed and it will also tell you to go ahead and unload. You wanna press that load and unload button again and it will kinda of like unhand the Cricut mat. You just wanna go ahead and take it out and we're just gonna go ahead and use that spatula to kinda of get that um, vinyl off of that sticky Cricut mat. Make sure that you go ahead and put that clear film right back on top of that Cricut mat so that you can keep it as clean as possible. All right, y'all, so it is weeding time. This is one of my favorite parts when it comes to using my Cricut. Um, I do use the tweezers as well, um, not as much as the weeder, but the tweezers do come in handy while weeding. So I like to start with the perimeter, which is like majority of the vinyl. I like to pull that all off first. Then I just go through and weed out all the little small pieces in between like the O's and the A's and all that good stuff. So now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and get our transfer tape. And I'm gonna cut out a piece that is the same size as the vinyl that I cut out earlier. So now you wanna peel that backing off of the transfer tape and take your time Go ahead and place the transfer tape on top of your vinyl. And then you wanna use your Cricut scraper to kind of push out any air bubbles and make sure that that text has meshed onto that transfer tape. And mine didn't do it, so I had to go back and scrape some more to make sure all the text had made it onto the transfer tape. And so now we're just gonna go ahead and apply that vinyl to our glass. And I like to start in the middle first when placing it. I like to start in the middle and then I go ahead and press down one side. And just like a letter at a time, I'm just kind of like smoothing it out with my finger, my thumb. And then go ahead and do the same thing as I lay down the other side. Go ahead and grab your Cricut scraper again and you want to just press lightly over all of your text to make sure that that text is fusing with whatever it is that you are transferring onto. Again, make sure you guys are taking your time. As you peel off your transfer tape, some pieces may not have transferred. So you wanna make sure that you go back and scrape those really good to make sure that everything is transferring. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull off all of that transfer tape. Mine kinda ripped a little bit right here, so I had to peel that little piece off as well. But um, that's it. That is how you use your permanent premium vinyl with your Cricut. Okay, y'all, yeah, so now on to the Strong Vine Everyday Iron On. For this section, y'all have already started a project. I am just finishing it. So like earlier, we're gonna go ahead and click on New Project, and we're gonna tap on Text. The font is gonna pop up, and we're gonna go ahead and click the font that we want and type in the text that we want. Remember, if you don't like the font, you wanna go ahead and press Edit, and then click on the font option again and you can change to whatever font that is available to you. So this is the shirt that I'm working with and I'm just gonna go ahead and measure to make sure that the text that I'm adding to the shirt is gonna fit well with the text that I've already added to the shirt. So here you're just gonna see me going back and forth measuring on the shirt, looking at my phone, making sure that the text is measuring out the correct way. Um, I'm just gonna go back and forth, making sure that 
it is going to fit and look the way that I want it to look once I transfer the text to the shirt. Remember, if you tap that blue icon in the left bottom corner of the text, it will unlock your text so you're able to stretch it out longer and stretch it out taller. And then once you lock it back, you'll just be able to move it all around and make it bigger or smaller. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add the other two texts for the other two shirts that I'm making. You don't wanna have all the text in one text box. You wanna do each one separately, just in case um, someone wants a different color. Um, you need to size it up, size it down. Doing them individually like this will make it so much easier for you. Here you just see me doing the same thing that I did with that first shirt, measuring just to make sure that the new text is gonna fit in with the text that I've already added to the shirt. Okay, so go ahead and grab your Cricut cutting mat again. And you also wanna grab your Strong Bond Everyday Iron On roll. Like I told you earlier, this is the Tea Party sampler. So it has three different color rolls inside. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I do with my rolls once I open them up to keep them nice and clean, to keep them just out of the way, make sure they don't get bent up and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll them up as tight as I can. And then I'm gonna take the roll that it came off of and I'm gonna slide those rolls inside of that cardboard roll. And that is how I keep them stored. So now I'm gonna take my pink iron on and I'm going to place it over my Cricut mat so I can get ready to cut it. And I'm going to check on my phone to make sure that my measurements are correct. And I believe my measurements were nine and a half by two, I believe. Um, and like I said earlier, I do like to cut just a little bit over just in case. Once I'm done cutting, I'm gonna go ahead and roll that one up tight as well and slide it in with the rest of the Tea Party sampler roll-ons. All right, y'all, so this next part is so important. You see that there's a shiny side and that there's a matte side. You want to make sure that the shiny side is face down on the Cricut cutting mat. If the shiny part is not against the sticky part of the Cricut cutting board, your project will not turn out right. Make sure that the shiny part is face down. Okay, now back to the phone. You wanna go ahead and press continue and it will kind of like make your text look a little weird, like put them in a different format, but I think it does it like that so that it gives you the best use of whatever material you're using. Now you wanna make sure that your dial is set to iron on. Next, you wanna tap that Cricut mat in the top left corner, it has a one on it. Once you tap that, you wanna select mirror on and that is just gonna flip the letters um, in your text for you so that once you go to iron it on, they'll be face up in the right order. Make sure when you're doing the iron on that you have mirror on selected. After that, go ahead and press continue. The screen will pop up that will make sure that you have everything loaded correctly and that you're using the correct materials. Now you're just gonna go ahead and load your Cricut mat. Press the load and unload button for it to kind of suck the mat in and then press the Cricut button so that it can start cutting. Again, once the Cricut has finished cutting, you will get that action complete notification. You wanna go ahead and unload, press that load and unload button and grab your Cricut mat. You wanna go ahead and peel that iron on off of the Cricut mat. And from there, we're gonna go ahead and start weeding. Once again, y'all, please be careful. The iron on material is a lot softer and thinner than the vinyl material, so be cautious of that. Again, I like to go ahead and take the majority of the material off first and then go ahead and get those smaller pieces on the inside. Next, I'm gonna separate the text by cutting each one of them out. 
All right, so now it is time to iron on our text. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it right up underneath the text that I already added or if I wanted to place it to the side. So I grabbed the other two shirts to see how it would look in the middle and, you know, kind of place to the side on those as well. As you can see, I went ahead and chose to um, place it kind of sitting off to the side. So I'm using an iron, y'all. And if you're using an iron like me, you want to make sure that the heat is all the way up and that the steam is off. You also want to grab something to use in between your project and your iron just so that nothing gets on your project like that's old from the iron or whatever. Um, I'm using just a solid color pillowcase. I'm pretty sure you can use like a towel or a white t-shirt, a plain t-shirt, um, anything else like that will work. So I'm going to keep the iron down over that iron on text that I added. I'm going to keep it over there for a good 35 to 45 seconds to make sure that it has melted into that fabric. So as I go in to pull that back in off, you see the H right there hasn't melted all the way into the fabric. So I'm going to go back in for another 15 to 20 seconds with the iron. So here we are again, this time the exclamation mark is not acting right. So we got to go back in with the iron once again, another 15 to 20 seconds. Okay, so here I finally got all the text transferred to the shirt. Now I'm going to just go ahead and cover it back up with the pillowcase and go over it with the iron um, for about another 15 to 20 seconds. And this is just like sealing, sealing everything up. And that, y'all, is how you use your Strong Bond Everyday Iron-On with your Cricut. I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same process with the next two shirts and get out your ears so y'all can just go ahead and watch. As always, you guys, everything that I used in this video, I will have in the description box below so you guys can check it out. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you leave me a thumbs up. If you guys like this video and you wanna see more like them, make sure you let me know that in the comment box below. That is it for this video, y'all. If you're still watching and you're not subscribed, make sure that you go ahead and do so. Don't forget to tap the notification bell so that you are notified first when I post new videos. As always, thank you guys so much. I love you all and I will see you guys in my next one.